guys. Right now, we are in Vancouver, Washington. We just left Delta Park in Portland, which is right across the bridge. And what we see right here is we see another monument of Henry Kaiser. So this gives some additional detail. Because remember, when we ran over there in Delta Park, the monument that they had for Henry Kaiser, he was giving health care. He built a 640-acre community, which ended up becoming a city of Van Port, or AKA Kaiserville. And you would think he was such a great man, such a generous man. He was the father of the modern healthcare system. But we look here, and we look at the monument here in Vancouver, Washington, and let's read what it says. It says, African-American women at the port. During World War II, African-American families, mostly from the South, moved to the West in pursuit of better opportunities. Drawn to the high wages promised by the Kaiser shipyards, Vancouver's African-American community grew to nearly 9,000 residents by 1944. Once here, many African-American women found jobs as welders. After the war, many men, women, and their families remained in Vancouver to pursue dreams of a better life. While they were welcomed by some, the reality of racism and bigotry was never far away. The National Association of the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP Chapter 1139, Vancouver, Washington Branch, was founded in 1945 to address systemic discrimination practices in housing and employment later members expanded their efforts into other social issues so guess what in this grand community this grand city that was built by an edomite that was built by amalek guess what our people were still under the curses the curses would follow us from city to city whether, whether we were in the south escaping racism we ran up north we still face the same racism we still face the same discrimination. So brothers, sisters of Oregon, you must repent and keep God's commandments. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel. 